guys welcome back to my channel my name is Angelina and as you can see by today's title I'm going to be unboxing the brand new 2020 MacBook Pro so the whole reason why I decided to get a new MacBook was because the one that I have now currently which is I believe the 2018 MacBook um, in space gray I just have a case on it right now as you could see it looks like this with the case that MacBook was the family MacBook so we all used it in my family and since I'm going to college in the next couple weeks I needed a MacBook for myself to be able to do my work and edit and things like that so I decided to get a MacBook for myself I purchased the MacBook with my own money and everything like that so I'm not here to brag or anything like that I'm just here to unbox it for you guys in case you guys are looking for a laptop too so like I said I'm in no way shape or form trying to brag or anything like that I did get the laptop with education pricing so with that you get I believe a hundred or two hundred dollars off the MacBook which is a great deal and right now you get a free pair of AirPods if you buy a MacBook or iPad or anything like that so here is the MacBook um like I said, I got the MacBook 2020. This is the MacBook Pro. I get the Pro because one, it is better for editing. So if you have the option to choose from the Air or the Pro, I recommend getting the Pro, especially if you like editing or have a YouTube channel because it is so much better for editing. Along with that, the Air overheats, I heard. So I definitely didn't want something that overheated because I do use my laptop a lot. So I didn't want something that overheated, you know? So I got the 13 inch MacBook book pro in space gray so i'm gonna unbox this for you guys and then i'm gonna show you guys how you can like customize it and the back screen and stuff like that and i'm also gonna show you the case that i got for it that i purchased off of amazon but we'll get into that in a second but with that being said don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's get into this video so i am just gonna take the plastic off of it right now to open it for you guys Opening Apple products is like one of the most satisfying things to me. Maybe it's only me, I really don't know, but I think that's like one of the most satisfying things. So I'm gonna take this off. Let's not break it, Angelina. So here it is right here. I'm gonna take it out. This is how it looks when it comes out the box. It just has the plastic over it. So I'm gonna take it off. And here she is, brand new in space gray, if it'll focus. And then here's the inside of the box. Um, there's just these little instructions right here. And then I believe it comes with like space gray apple stickers. Yes, it does. Oh my God, that's so cute. It comes with these little space gray apple stickers. Um, it, I don't know, it's not focusing. But it comes with these like space gray apple stickers, as you can see. And then the instructions are in here. You know, it's always good to have and then it comes with the usb cord um all the new apple products of 2020 i believe have this new charging cord where basically like they charge 10 times faster i have the iphone 11 pro max right now and i have this um certain charger for it and it charges like so fast like literally like my phone could be at 100 in like 30 minutes which is crazy so i love these new chargers so it comes with the charger and then it comes obviously with the box to charge it in but that's everything in the box so now I'm going to open it and it has this little foamish layer. I don't know what material this is. Oh my God, it turns on by itself. That's so cool. But I'm just gonna take this off and as you can see, it is turning on. So I'm gonna start showing you guys the screen of how to set this up. Okay, I'm guessing you guys could see that. So it is asking me to pick my language, English, and then country, United States. It's the first one. And I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. I have the Wi-Fi password here on my phone. I'm just gonna type it in. But one thing that I just noticed too is that on this keyboard, the keys like feel different than the one that I had currently. The keys like feel like more like, I don't know how to describe it. They feel more prominent, like they're more there. I guess if that makes sense. Now it is asking about data and privacy. Um, do I wanna transfer any information? No. And now I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID and send a notification to my phone. So I'm just gonna allow that to sign in. Terms and conditions, agree, agree. Now it's loading with my iCloud. And then once I get in, everything's loaded. I'm gonna show you guys the touch bar and what the touch bar does and like how the keyboard looks and stuff. I could definitely see as of right now, the shape of the MacBook looks more different than the MacBook that I currently have. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? 
Okay, I finished setting up Siri. Um, not now. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts about the um, new MacBooks. They have the touch, little touch finger. So I'm gonna set that up right now. This Touch ID button is totally different than the one I currently have on my other MacBook. I'll show you guys a comparison with the keyboards when I'm done. I'm gonna choose, I don't know if I should choose dark or light mode. Um, for the moment, I'm gonna choose light mode. I could always change this later by like going to the system preferences or like settings or whatever you wanna call it. And here it is. Oh my God, it looks so nice. So I'm gonna show you guys a little closer of a look. Okay, so this is how it looks. As you can see, it has the app bar down here with all the different things on the computer. It has the preset backgrounds, but I'm gonna show you guys what to do to get a very, very cute aesthetic background. The internet up here, the time, the date, your country. It has all the little places you could go up here. And then this is how the keyboard looks. Um, it has the touch bar right here. And if you go like that, it has so many different things on the touch bar. You could make the screen brighter like this as you can see, or you can make the screen darker. If you press this button right here, it will show you the different um, windows you have open. I currently don't have any windows open, that's why it says no windows available. Um, if you go here, it will show you a broader screen of all the downloads and the apps that you have on the computer. I don't know what this does, it does something with brightness though. But it has the play buttons up here, it has the volume buttons, no volume, some volume, max volume. If I press Siri right here, Siri pops up, but that's the touch bar. Okay, and now that my computer's set up, I'm going to unbox the AirPods. The AirPods are kind of self-explanatory, you know? Um, you know, they're just AirPods. I'm sorry if you hear like kids playing or screaming in the background. It's because my window's open and there's like a playground right outside my building. So just ignore that if you hear anything in the background. But here are the AirPods. Um, they just come in the regular AirPod box. This is how they look on the back. These are just the regular AirPods. They're not the wireless charging ones or anything like that. I have the regular AirPods in general right now too, um, but this is what it looks like when you open it. It just has the instructions. I don't know if they come with stickers. No, they don't come with stickers. That sucks. But this is how it looks in the box when you open it. If you focus, it just looks like this. And if you take them out of the box, they have the plastic on it. Ah, just looks like this has the two airpods in it regular case and then if you open the case open the thing right here it has a charger on the bottom which a lot of people don't know for some reason i've seen it on tiktok and i was just like they didn't know there was like a charger at the bottom of the case but that's the airpods like i said self-explanatory and then to go with my computer i just got a case i got this black and like whitish gray marble case it's just the black bottom um i decided to get this color because my ipad is actually has a marble case that looks just like this so like i said this is how the top looks and then it comes with a black keyboard pad which is actually good because it's the same color as the keyboard on it right now and then it comes with this little bottom piece so i'm going to put this on So now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the difference between the MacBook I have now and this MacBook, and then I will show you guys how to make a background and customize the whole MacBook. As you guys can see here, so this is my new one and this is the old one. So as you guys can see, the keys are totally different. I don't know if you could tell, but these are more matte and these are like more shiny. And then right here, the touch bar is separated. On this touch bar, it is like together, but this is how they look far apart. This is the new one, this is the old one. Um, There's like minor differences. Like I said, the keyboards, this one looks a little smaller than this one on screen wise. As you can see, I think you could tell this screen looks more wide. This one looks more together. Um, Other than that, that's how they look in comparison. Okay, so as you guys saw, I just set up my computer. I showed you guys a little bit of the differences between the two. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you could customize the background of the computer. Cause you know, sometimes the set home screens that they have on the computer are always not the cutest. And you know, sometimes you want something more aesthetic or something more pleasing so I'm gonna show you guys how to get that so as you can see here we are on Pinterest so we are just going to log in and basically you could get a bunch of different pictures from here and just drag them over on the side to your computer screen and then once we are done with this you could go to Canva and 
make the collage there of all the pictures that you chose that you liked so i'm just gonna search aesthetic aesthetic pictures as you can see there's a bunch right here i really like i really love this one so i'm just gonna drag it over here and i'm just gonna do this for a bunch more until i get to canva and start putting everything together Okay, so as you guys see, I have a bunch of pictures here on the side. So now we are going to go to Canva. And basically, you're just going to go on Canva. You could just click create a blank presentation. And basically, you're just going to take all the pictures you have here and put them on the screen. And you could just make them smaller or bigger, as big as you like. And I'm just going to move this to the side to make it bigger. You could just make them as small or as big as you like until you have exactly how you want it so i'm just gonna keep doing this and putting the pictures on here until i get something i like and then i will show you guys when it is on my background okay guys so as you can see i'm now done with it so i saved it and everything so this is how it looks bigger so now i am going to make it my background so as you guys can see, that is now my um, screensaver. So this is my screensaver. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Like I said, all you have to do is go to Pinterest, wherever you want to get your pictures from, save them to your desktop, go on Canva, make a presentation, a blank one, and just rearrange the pictures however you like them. This is how I did it. I might change it, but I actually really like it. So I think I'm gonna keep it like this. And one more thing that you guys could do is um, if you go into your little search bar up here and search up stickies, you click on stickies, you click on that, a little sticky will pop up in the corner and you can make a note or whatever you want to out of it. And then up here at the top, there is an option for the font and the color. So I'm going to choose pink just because, you know, it matches more of my aesthetic. And then here you could just change your font. You can make it up italic, bold. You could put graphics, anything like that. And you know, it's just nice to have right here, you know, when you need a little reminder up here. So yeah, guys, this is how my MacBook looks and this is the finished product. It's not finished. I'm gonna play around with it a little more because I know I can do more things to it. Like I could change, like if I have like a folder here, I could change a little folder icon, anything like that. So so yeah, this is how it looks from afar. But okay guys, that's everything that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing haul of my new MacBook. I'm really in love with it. I can't wait to start editing on it and use it. I'm gonna have it for a really long time, probably for all four years of college. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I love the little background I have. I'm obsessed with this case. I'll have the case linked down below so you guys can go check it out if you want to. And like I said, I hope this video really helped you guys with deciding what computer you want or it was just some entertainment for you guys. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so you you never miss one of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!